Hello, my name is Kelly Anton, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to cover uploading as well as doing offline versus online comparisons. For uploading from the PLC when I don't have the program, I like to create a new project. So I will give it a name Upload and then select Create. Then I will select online and diagnostics and select accessible devices. Here I will select my PGPC interface for PN slash IE and I will start my search to find the PLC. Once the PLC is found, I will select show. I will select no to save the default settings for the PGPC interface. In the project tree under online access, the PLC will show up. I will expand out the program block so you can see all the different program blocks that are included in this particular PLC program. To do the upload, I will select the online menu and pick upload devices, new station, hardware, and software. This will read in the complete hardware configuration as well as the PLC program into the project named upload. All the comments and documentation will be uploaded with the PLC as well. So in the project tree, I will expand out the PLC and I will expand out the program blocks and you can see all of the blocks are named. You will also see that the, from a PLC tag perspective, if I open up the default tag table, I get all of the tag names as well. You can always add in new tag tables to organize your tags. When you do the upload, all of the tags are brought into the default tag table. Next, I will open up the main program and I will start monitoring. When everything shows up in green, that means that your offline program and online program is the same and there are no errors. I'm going to collapse all of the networks and I will go down to network 7 and make a small change. I will select the light 9 tag and then I will change the light 9 tag to light 8. When I do that, I will be kicked off from monitoring the logic online. So you will see the icon is no longer on for monitoring and you will see the icon here that indicates the online and offline programs are different. What I will do is select detailed comparison and then this is going to have to close the editor and then open up the comparison. So on the left hand side I will have the offline view, on the right hand side I will have the online view. I will collapse my workspace and adjust the size of my two views. I will collapse all of the network so that I can quickly see where the differences are. So network 7 indicates that there's a difference. You have various commands on the toolbar to jump to the previous or next difference. So here light 8 is different versus light 9. Next what I will do is I will right click on the main program block and upload from the device. So I'll take what's in the PLC and I will overwrite what is in the offline program. This way the online and offline will be the same. So I'll select overwrite and pick upload from device. I will select OK. Now you will see my program status has changed now to all green indicating that everything is identical. So I collapse all of the networks and you can see now I have light 9 back again. I will collapse network 7 and enter in a new title slash comment for network 8 just so that there's something different. Now you can see that the online offline programs are different again. So what I will do is go up to my PLC now and do a comparison. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to select compare and I'm going to pick offline versus online comparison. This will give me a high level comparison of what's offline versus what's online. Then I can select an icon that says show only the differences. Now I can see that OB1 is the only block that has a difference. I can right click and select start detailed comparison. And then I can select yes to open up the detailed comparison. Here there's a synchronized scroll button so the editors side by side are linked together. So as I scroll up and down both editors will scroll at the same time. And then you can see what is different here as well. I can collapse all the networks and I can also get a quick overview of what is different. I will use the undo feature to undo the changes. 
And now you'll see that the online and offline are identical again. And this concludes the lesson on uploading and offline and online comparisons.